Over 117 million people have Netflix accounts and over 30 million people watch videos on YouTube per day. As a species, we're definitely addicted to online video. But video streaming uses heaps of data and if you're not careful, it can chew through your allowance really quickly. So how can we reduce the amount of data that you use on video streaming? On most services, you can choose to stream video at a lower quality. This uses less data and if you're just watching from your mobile phone, you probably won't even notice the difference. If you want to watch Netflix when you're out and about, you can use their download feature, which allows you to save what you want to watch while you're connected to Wi-Fi and watch it offline later. YouTube Red also has a similar feature. You've probably noticed that videos on Facebook seem to start playing automatically. This is a problem because it means that you're using your data on videos that you probably don't even want to watch. So turn off the autoplay setting in Facebook and other apps and save your data for the videos that you do want to watch. Now, how much data does online video use? Netflix is everyone's favourite streaming service, but if you're not careful, it can be a real data thief. HD streaming on Netflix can use up to 3 gigs per hour, but lower the quality and you'll be better off using only 300 to 700 megabits per hour. You can also reduce the quality of YouTube videos. Lower quality video uses up to 300 megabits per hour versus up to 1 gigabyte if you're streaming HD. Video streaming on Facebook generally uses less data than other services. A heavy user will use about 2-3 to three gigs per month. I was really surprised when I found out how much data Instagram uses. A solid hour scrolling through Instagram videos and stories can easily chew through up to 750 megabits. Armed with this knowledge, hopefully you can avoid using up all of your data on day two of your billing cycle or racking up a huge bill.